How are you guys doing? This is Mark. You know me, 52-year-old, MBA, University of San Francisco, bachelor degree from UC Davis. I've been in sales since 1995. That's 25 years of working in sales, seeing how the world evolves from door to door, from calling people in person to on the phone to visiting them. Today we're sitting there and the reverend says, for those of you who are in church and those who are streaming, and it just remind me of that first uh, video I sent you where I talked to you about how Kevin Feige was saying, hey, streaming for Disney is going to be better than the streaming, better than going to a movie experience. And that was just a lie. When I was younger, remember going to the Man Chinese Theater, the Egyptian Theater. I think there's also a Pirate Theater. I think back on all these theaters where you go in, you get the popcorn, hot dog, you can buy some souvenirs and stuff. And that's how it brought the big actors in. And I remember church back at Heavenly Tabernacle or Ascension, all having a, man, we got to get up early. we got to go to church and this and that. And then the reverend says, today, Pastor Rob, what well, we're going to be doing, streaming, that's, that's going to kill. The streaming is going to drown the high salary actor. And that's how the world has changed. I remember when Hollywood used to have, have giant studios, the size of the warehouses, some of these 20-year-olds working in, buying their fancy cars. 15 hours an hour soon they'll be the uh, they'll be the people who worked in the what the the LA Times place to get laid off when they get replaced by a computer or something so I just laugh at that and I just think man streaming who would think streaming in 2020 would basically replace basically theaters man was that a conspiracy you think and then you have Disney which bought mysteriously bought all the men, MCU universe stuff and now I was listening to the WandaVision lady talking about how she said, oh, it's great. The screaming's great. We get to explore plots. Because right now her contract is for maybe for 250000 an episode or something. <coughs> but that's just one. It'll be one or two series. Then all of a sudden you'll have these cheaper series come out. They'll just phase out the Samuel L. Jackson's, the whatever his name is. I can't remember the Arrow guy person. All of them will be phased out. Then you'll be down to producing series. Eight or ten episodes for $400,000 a year. What would be better for them? A $400,000 episode for 10, 10 to 12 episodes with a bunch of no names. Because they don't get rid of all the, the, the and they, eight, whatever these eight contracts where you're spending... Six hundred through three hundred thousand dollar episode. No, they go get rid of them. So if you're an actor or actress, subscribe, comment, like. I'm looking to get one hundred thousand subscribers. I want to help you guys. We need to set up some type of streaming union, some type of streaming organization where we can look at ways to help you make money and stay in the game, man. I don't want you working for free as an actor. Things are changing so quick. And then you got then a poor next generation is getting sold out by the Tom Hanks, George Clooney, unfortunately the Tom uh, was it Tom Cruises. They made all this money and now they're like, oh, streaming's good, streaming's good. When they got paid twenty million, ten million dollars an episode, and they're talking about streaming's good now, especially Tom Hanks, that fool playing with a damn ball. I, I don't even believe he had COVID. Subscribe, comment, like. Subscribe, comment, like. Do you believe Tom, that Tom Hanks guy had COVID? I think he, that, he's a Hollywood Democrat. But you know what? Disney and all the studios got, got rid of these Hollywood Democrats. So you guys might as well become Republicans now because they're done. That's how they made that. That's how they could come. Let's support gay rights. Let's support transsexual. Look, no, you, you ain't got to worry about it no more. Because everything's going to go to streaming. They're done. That's why they're... Have you seen any Tom Hanks movies lately? Have you seen any Tom Cruise movies lately? Have you seen any Will Smith movie lately? Have you seen any Harrison Ford movies lately beyond the Star Wars? You know why? Studios get rid of them, man. You ain't paying no... You know, you can have a, you can have a series run for two to three years. $500,000, make back some of that money, $5,000 a year, a couple of actors, you're paying $20,000, $30,000, run that show for five years, $1.2, $1.5 million, or I can try to put a bet on a Tom Cruise, I'm going to pin $10 million, not counting $120 million from the production, what, are, what which one of those makes better sense to you, subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, comment, like, so today is actors and actresses, you're in trouble. 
actors and actresses streaming will reduce your salary unless you can develop your own brand. You should be the first ones that be focusing on selling stuff, doing internet stuff, YouTube. Unless you want to go work in porn, even on X Haps, even X Hapsters paying premium porn. What's the difference between regular porn and premium porn? You guys let me know. I guess when I was younger, I know there was a high society hustler playboy where they didn't show a lot of stuff, no penetration. Or you could go get the higher end porn. You're looking at twenty, fifteen to twenty dollars a book. Show you everything: Swedish erotica, going out of house, and any of these other things. Now, is that that's is that what premium porn is? I need to know, man. It's, is that if you're actor or actress, unless you want to do regular porn or premium porn you need to get out there and learn how to sell yourself you need to go to hey i'm gonna come on your stream and show in addition to just being a person who can can act i can per i can go out and help you market i can help you with some other things let me get in there and help you so actors and actresses get on there subscribe comment like there's a war between screening and streaming there's a war coming you guys are gonna get fucked man those are people tom cruise all those other people under that whatever that screen actors guild they getting paid you ain't gonna get nothing man that's how it's all setting up that's why I'm like hey let's just stream now let's just stream now that's what the theaters say say hey 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 slow down slow down so if i were you an actor or actress you better be supporting these theaters man if not, you're gonna be working thirty or fifty thousand dollars a year on a. We ain't talking about thirty or fifty thousand dollars episode. We're talking you and my thirty or fifty thousand dollars on twelve episodes. That's gonna be your pay. Take it or leave it. If there's no screens, so let me know what you think. Subscribe, comment, like. Subscribe, comment, like. That's why I drive my, my own business thing. Seventy-five, one twenty-five, two hundred dollar programs that pay off my pay off loans, showing people how to do stuff. So. If you're an actor or actress, you need to get out there, man. You need to bail your brand, and I want to help you. Let me help you. Because you know what? Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks, Will Smith, they got their $10 million for movies, even if their movies flop. Now, that's why they say, hey, we're gonna, we don't even, they don't even want to go to the theaters anymore, man. They ain't going to even bid. And that's going to be a bad thing for you. So let me know. Talk to you later. Let's get to 100,000 subscribers, actors. You need to know how to sell, market, build your own brand, and also how to market. you got to set yourself apart. Otherwise, you're going to be doing standard porn, premium porn. Can't even work as an actor. Can't even work as a waitress right now. What are you going to do? Go work at a warehouse with the other people? I'm a waitress. I'm working in a warehouse. I'm waiting on my big break as an actor. Don't let that be you.